Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back for another video. Can you guys believe that we are already budgeting for September? It's crazy. It's my birthday month, so I'm super excited. Um, <clears throat> I already kind of wrote most of it out, so we can jump right in for... September 2022 and this is one of those magical months so I get paid three times this month <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and calculate what we think our income will be times three paychecks so it should be three thousand three $300 for the month of September. Okay. Um, I've wrote out all my bills that I think I will have for this month. It's, if you've seen my previous videos, it's definitely less than previous months because a lot of my credit cards I'm not paying on because we are closing on our house and um, the mortgage company will pay those credit cards off, some of them. So... We have our house for three forty, car note. Um, I don't know the exact due date. I think it's gonna be around the twenty second. Um, cell phone will probably be around the twentieth um, for one hundred five. Credit one is getting a minimum payment of thirty dollars. Mattress firm is getting a hundred. A firm is getting two twenty four. Jim is getting 30 and subscriptions should be around, no, Jim is getting 40 and then subscriptions should be around $30. So if we add that up, it gives us $1,000. $739 subtracted from our income leaves us with $1,561 um, to cash stuff, sinking funds, and save with. All right, I'm going to jump over here first and take out church so I can kind of know what I'm working with. So my 10%, I know it's $330. But. <laughs> I'm 330. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that out. <clears throat> I put it in sinking funds just because I subtract it like every pay period and then I guess um give it once a month. I don't know, I guess I just like to do it that way. Mm. So after that it leaves us with $1,231. Um I'm budgeting a little differently now because I'm not getting paid every week. Um, like I was when I had my contracting job. Um, hopefully, I'll be getting another contract soon. Um, but I need to make sure that we are budgeting bi-weekly. And that the money is able to last two weeks versus <laughs> weekly now. Um, so, let's play around with these numbers. I also need to get the number for the Christmas Savings Challenge because I need to see how many more. We have actually, okay, we have three weeks left in our Christmas Savings Challenge. Um, and so that's 35 plus a 60 plus a 25. So $120 that we need to allocate towards Christmas this month. And then we will be done with the Christmas Savings Challenge. So it actually leaves us $1,111. Ooh, it's going to be a little tight, y'all. Okay. Um, and some people already have this, like, stuff put together before they start recording. But I didn't want to do that. I kind of wanted to work through it with you guys, work through the process. So... 
let's see. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Mm -mm. I want to give myself enough bi-weekly that <clears throat> I can make it. So I'm going to estimate $80 bi-weekly for my personal envelope, uh, which would be $240. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Um, groceries. I usually spend about 40 ish dollars a week. So bi weekly, that would be $80. And 80 times 3 is another 240. Okay. <laughs> Um, gas has not been extremely bad. Gas prices have went back down. And during this transitional period from this house to our new house, we'll be staying with family members, um, which is good because it's closer to where my son's school is. So I won't be driving as much or using as much gas. So I'm thinking... another 40 another 80 maybe another 50 dollars maybe 50 dollars per week so oh wait that's a hundred dollars maybe 80 40 dollars a week should be good it may actually be too much so maybe 30 but i'm gonna do 40 just to see and then if it's more too much in there then it can stay in the envelope so um another eighty dollars so this <laughs> oh gosh it's like funny it's not funny but it's funny minus 240 minus 240 minus 240 okay i'm just gonna put over here 80 a week just so i can reference back when i go in to do the weekly budget okay eating out is definitely not gonna be getting <laughs> $80, not $80 a week, $80 bi-weekly, guys. Oh my gosh, this transition, okay. So, eating out should probably not get any more than $20 a week, so $40 bi-weekly is $120. And I'm just trying to keep my numbers in my head. And then what do we say? $40 bi-weekly. So. Okay. so 40 times three is 120. Okay, so what are we currently looking like now? So. Minus the two forty three times minus one twenty. Okay, we got two seventy one. <laughs> um, miscellaneous can probably get like maybe twenty twenty dollars bi weekly. So sixty dollars for the month. Twenty bi weekly sixty. Okay, so it should leave us with 211 for our sinking funds and savings. So our cash envelopes should be $900. So 1561 minus 900 is $661. Okay, and we know we got to take out church, so right now, and then we got to take out Christmas, so $211. Mm, how are we going to do this? <laughs> Let's see. I know when I did my August budget with me last month, 
it was more like, I want to save, this, like, this is my goal to save this much versus this is the money that I have. And so what can I do with the money that I have? And so that's going to be the mindset this, um, this month. So let's play around with the numbers here. I'm going to try to keep it under 100 and then 100 for sinking funds and then maybe 100 for savings challenges. So if I did that with 100, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That will put us around $14 at each one. But of course, some takes, well, to me, some takes more president, precedence than other, others. <clears throat> Um, so bi-weekly, would it be like around $5? So if I did, mm -mm, if I did hubby $10 bi-weekly, that's 30 and then did Avery 5 Bi-weekly, it's 15. Birthday prep is not going to need too much more because my birthday is on the 19th. And I believe I get paid on the 15th right before my birthday. And we don't need too much more in birthday prep. So I'm going to guesstimate 20. So let me write this down. So if I do have 10 times 3 gonna be 30. If I do Avery 5 times 3, it's gonna be 15. <clears throat> if I do birthday prep 20 times 2, bring us to 40. Um, if I do holidays, I think I'm gonna do holidays five five dollars because I'm gonna be moving so I'm not gonna really be doing too much decorating. Um, gifts, I'll, I'll budget five for gifts, so that's 15. Because I know I do need to buy like a baby shower gift in September. And I think I saw like something on the registry that I can get her that's not too much, but it's, you know, it's not her first baby, so. She pretty pretty much knows what she needs, you know. We don't need all those fancy things we thought we needed when we first, when we had our first child. Okay. I'm already kind of over budget with a birthday prep. <laughs> but let's see, self-care can not, got, it's not going to need a lot this month because low-key, my, it's my birthday, so I'm already taking care of myself T way, way, not way too much, but enough. So let's do $2 times the three, so six. And then health, currently waiting on a call back from my doctor's office about my prescription. I know I have an appointment in October that I probably have to co-pay for, um, but I don't have an appointment this this month i just know i need to refill a prescription and i don't think it was over 20 so i don't need a lot in health because we're pretty good there so i'm also going to do two here two times three okay so let's add up our sinking funds we got church plus hubby plus avery Plus birthday prep, plus 15 holidays, gifts, um, self care, and health is $457. Leaves us with 204. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And so the 204 minus the 120, that's going to be going in our Christmas savings challenge leaves us with, okay, this is pretty good, $84. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's something, guys, it's something. Um, so, a 
Okay, so I'm gonna minus the four dollars because I just want 80, and then we're gonna divide it by three, it's around 26 dollars. So Mm, bi weekly, if I did. I think we're just gonna be able to do. I just wanna, I'm just gonna say 10. Um, so $10 a week for vacation and house. Um, <clears throat> because my birthday trip was postponed, but it's fully funded um, for any kind of trip that we would take because we have Delta credits for flights. And then I have more than enough along with hubby. So we should be good there. So we did 120 plus 60. That brings us to 180. And then the 204 minus 180 is $24, which I believe is a good buffer amount. We're just going to keep that in the bank account. So let's get our final totals together here. Um, cash envelope, well, income is $3,300. Cash envelopes is getting $900. Sinking funds is getting $457. And savings is getting $180. And bills and debt is getting $1,739. So when we minus all of these things, That leaves us with $24, which is a buffer. I know it's not zero based because you're supposed to be like, well, where's that extra $24 going? It's going to whatever bill I forgot to pay. And that way it'll come right out and we won't have any issues with the bank. So this is the goal. This is the plan for this month. Um, I'm actually still really impressed. I know this is a magic month. And so hopefully, you know, funds that are left over for my cash envelope for like mine, groceries, gas, eating out miscellaneous um, will go into my savings challenges. I have a um, emergency fund savings challenge currently going on. And I'm also saving all my dollars. And so when it comes to next month, I may have to pull those funds, but we'll see. Um, I'm really happy with these numbers. We're not in the negative, so it's a win-win, hun. It's a win-win. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like it, please let me know down in the comments. Leave me a heart emoji to let me know that you watched the whole video and that you are supporting your girl. It means so much to me. Um, I love this community here. I watch so many of you guys and I just really want to grow this channel. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.